This is the 13th stage of the Tour de France. We're racing today from Nîmes to Cocasson. Massive distance of 137 miles. And live action here on NBCSN. Brought to you by Rocket Mortgage. And I must say, Bob, we have seen some race today. Let's check in with Adam Bly, who must be travelling at about... Oh, there's a crash. No, look at this on a sweeping left-hander. A multi-pilot. This is the dangers again. There's one or two riders down in the ditch from Trek Segafredo there. Just have a look top right of your picture. These are the roads, don't forget, that Steve Perino told us how narrow they would become about uh, 30 miles from the finish. That's a nasty fall, Bob. That's a nasty fall. That is a high speed and bad pavement and big... fairly near to the front also. Rider going off the side and just going down so hard well, right there. That is absolutely horrid. Tim de Klerk is might be the rider from de Kunick, the bottom of that. And uh, there is de Klerk right there in the dark blue jersey. Yeah, that is really sad. Tim de Klerk, the real workhorse, the power man of this team, uh, pacing the race today for Mark Cavendish. Don't know what happened, whereabouts. It must have dropped back into the peloton, Tim, there. And let's see if we can get some more update on this from Adam Blythe. front of it now Phil you can just see all the riders there's a little cliff that goes off the side here and a lot of riders have gone down the side but the road just on the outside of this corner is just like a gravel pit so it's deep in gravel you can see a lot of riders it's very very rough surf finished it is not a pleasant one it is I'm surprised there's no markings on the road for these riders because a lot of them have gone off the side Tim de Klerk here they're searching to try and get a rider there's mechanics going down the other side of this trying to get riders up from the bottom of the cliff but you can see Rafa Micah from the UAE team just bent over his bike Roger Kluger back there has really opened half of his back up so these riders an unexpected crash really on such a stupid bit of road where you've just got gravel at the side of the road you've got Simon Yates just laying down next to me as well now so it is it's an awful situation here Luke Durbridge I still think they're trying to pull riders up from the bottom of it Tim Clerk, who was right at the front of the peloton he's just here he stood back up he looks to be OK, but they are still Craig pulling Anderson bikes out of it here, out from the from the ditch. Rafa Almeida. Yeah, Soren Craig, Craig Anderson. Anderson um, um, yeah, I think the Adam will be sent away by the race referees here. But Soren Craig Anderson is the rider who has climbed up, and it's good to see Tim de Klerk is up. But, of course, the race has gone by some minutes now. Now, let me just see that. That is, that is Yates for sure there. Simon Yates. Well, this is so unexpected at this stage, on this type of stage, but you know, there's absolutely no protection there against them slipping into the side there. Steve Perino was on it there when he, he said how narrow it was. The racing is full on here now because this is Wout van Aert driving at the front here, the champion of Belgium. And he's joined by the Lotus Sudal riders. There are still some, quite a few riders left from uh, Koenig Quickstep in the blue jersey. He's trying to control it. Cavendish is on the right, Bob. And he stayed out of trouble on that one. But I bet they breathed a few sighs of relief. Soren Krog Anderson from the DSM squad down in that ravine. Long time to get up. And Simon Yates from the Bike Exchange squad. 178. Very slowly to get up, but a lot of aggressive riding in the front. It looks like there's a split in the field also because of that. So the AG2R squad, De Kunik has been in the counter moves each time somebody's tried to attack. And the last one was a very ominously was Wout Van Aert. So don't think that the breakaway has been caught, but they might have been because the peloton going so quickly. That's Sylvain Delia in the red jersey for the Alpacine squad. And trying to get across is Tom Skoyens. In the Latvia national champions jersey trying to get across to this counter move might be Rui Costa with him there is Simon Yates well thankfully he's back on his bike and back going again when it looked questionable that's another bike exchange rider so that must have, must have happened near that team Phil yes it, it looks like it now this is not looking good this is Simon Yates here he's stretching his bike but they're going to put a bottle of fresh bottle on it yeah. and get him away He's clearly holding the, his left side there, so he's obviously in pain, but he's going to give it a go. 
Remember that Simon Yates finished third in the Tour of Italy. He was riding this race as pre-preparation for the Olympic Games.